<laughs> not a second wasted. Not a not second. Not a moment wasted, Nathan. Not a mi not a Nathan's like, Jube, Jube, you're gonna turn around the microphone one here. I'm literally sitting right here with my feet up behind myself, being comfortable. Behind yourself. And you want- Wait, how the fuck do you do you that? You want me to turn around ahead of time. No, I did not waste a single millisecond. I was talking before we were recording. Not a minuscule... What's a fucking... What's a word that what starts with... Fuck you. I'm doing. What's a word that starts with M that means tiny? Minuscule, minute, N. Oh, M. go back left. What? You missed a hole in the wall. Now I have to climb all the way... God! <laughs> did that even give me money? Um, niggardly. What'd you say? I said I'm M. I'm gonna say that again. I said M. Yeah, but N is- that's the word that starts N means small. What's the word that starts P means small? P- <laughs> I don't know. Fault for that one. Uh, <laughs> well, because I was gonna say penis. Penile. Is that penile a, in size. Better word. These wolves are spastic as fuck, look at them. They're really- they're like thirsty. <laughs> they're so thirsty for it. No, look, like, they're actually for, probably in heat. Look yeah. at them, they're like, fuck man, I need this shit. Look, they're gonna- they're gonna kill themselves. They're, they're so thirsty. They're so they fucking thirsty, they kill themselves. <laughs> Piece of shit. Look, he's, he's dead. dead. fucking carrot. He's dead. He's dead because he's too thirsty. Dude, that mole's thirsty. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If there was a new aid- oh, Jesus Christ. If there was a new AIDS, you killed thirsty dudes, the world would be a better place in general. <laughs> thirsty dudes. Yeah. Was I talking to you about no, this? No, it wasn't thirsty dudes. It was fucking shitty neckbeard whatever. No, well, I've got- a big list of aids to invent. You've got a big list of people that you should kill with a new strain of aids. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. You. You just made the list. <laughs> oh, you no. fucking noob. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, okay. and I've got a quite, quite sizable list. Of, you know, some people are like, oh, if you do this, fuck you. Or if you do this, kill yourself. Well, no. But if you are a thirsty man who goes to bars and then harasses women yourself. and makes them have a bad time because you want to fuck them really badly more than you want to, like, you know, enrich their life, <laughs> fuck you and die. Like, straight up. Yeah, okay, okay, so, alright, alright, alright. Like, right. I don't have anything personally against them, but if they died, everyone would be happy. So obviously, Even them. Obviously this has a little bit to do with, you know, the kind of, like, demographic, right? Uh, this will make sense once I finish the sentence. Okay. Um, obviously it has to do a little bit with where you're looking, but, cringe pics, right? Yeah. How many men, your people in the world, just, like, would go to someone and be like, you wanna fuck? And be serious. Uh, more than you think. Really? But less than you'd know. Well, isn't it less than so, you'd like, of your friends, I don't think any of them would do it, because you and I both have, you know, But do we? But do we have normal friends? Or are they actually all fucking wankers? I've got know? Dip, I, I know dipshit friends that would do that. You really? really? Yes. Okay. You reckon, like, they would they would straight up be like, I want to fuck baby. Yeah. And it works for some of them, like, it's Does totally it what? Yeah. No, but aren't they normal, like, people in society? How does that- how do you transition to be that dude? You just do. That's a sad you transition. You get people on the same level as you, you drag them down. But they're clearly not on the same level. At least, I guess- well, the ones that posted on fucking Grinch Picks aren't. Have I told you the story, the- the legend of, um, the legend of Matt Laffin? What? The most extraordinary man in the world. Matt Laffin. Have I not told this, his story on the show before? I don't think I've heard the story of Holy, Matt I think you have. I would have told this at some point. It's my go-to story these days. He's the, he's the greatest man of one. He is Australia. He's the spirit of Australia. You know, fuck that boat that goes back and forth between Tasmania with all this goddamn, like, Didn't you just give his it. name out? He is the spirit of Australia. Did you just give his name out? Oh, no, he'll love it. I've got him on Snapchat. I've never actually met him in my life. Oh, what the fuck? He sent me a Snapchat asking me who I was, because he's a friend of a friend of mine. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't reply to it, but he still sends me Snapchats. Um, he's notorious. How? Where should I start? There's so, there's so many places to start. Okay. He's well, notorious. How start at the beginning. Start at the beginning. He's the first thing I ever heard about Laffin is that he calls when he like gets with a girl. He doesn't say I got some ass or I got some you know pussy. Yeah. He says I got some tit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Firstly, that's the first thing you need to know about that. I believe I have heard. Oh, so this is the most unsettling, like... No, yeah, this is scary. This is oh, hard. these spikes are sharp. I'll rub some snow off the wall. Yeah, it's like, is that, I don't think that... I don't think that's how we'll I don't think I can works. pile some snow on spikes and be okay. Anyway, so he calls... He, <laughs> he calls... He breaks down the entire broad concept of women down to tit. Also, that's a wall you can... Just one? Oh, I should probably bounce off that dude. Tit. Come over here. Not yet. Uh, so my mate was like... Question him one day is like, dude, like you say tit a lot. Yeah. Wouldn't there also be like, yeah, some well, you're getting laid. There. There's other things there, and he's like, nah, man, it's all about the tit. 
Just one? Just the one. Does he focus on one? Like, that's not good practice. Focusing on one. I don't think that one's gonna feel left out particularly. I think it would. I think it definitely would. I think I think there's very few titties that I need. I need a I need symmetry in my life. I don't like asymmetry. When the fuck have you ever seen a titty that wants a man around it? Like, well, when have you seen a titty that has a man around it that doesn't? That, and when the other one doesn't want it? It's like you, they don't have split brains. They're like they share. No, one's more creative and one's more mathematical. That's why one's <laughs> always square and one's always round. What? No, one drops lower usually. <laughs> You get like low hanging so, The one that drops low is burdened by the mathematical knowledge of humanity. And the other one is free and, and willing to be fondled. To be fondled and poked. That's just sad. Dude, I, feel, I feel bad for the math one. Oh, for the, yeah, for the math one. What the fuck are you doing about I that? I don't feel bad for math titties. They brought it on themselves. <laughs> anyway, so he calls, he calls women tit. Well, he doesn't really call women tit. Don't, Nathan, it's not worth it. I want it. Good. Okay, cool. That's a wall. Nope. Ah, fucking shit. Got it. Fucking bombs. Yeah, so he calls women too. Anyway, so, um, okay. Also, this is really hard. This, this is the super I weird section. I hate this shit. You're just gonna skip the... Oh, no. Oh, you're gonna go on that. Um, okay, so he calls... Just bear that in mind that he calls... Girls tit. Um, so my friend Hayden was uh, driving him to... He knows him from, um, from tape. And he was driving him somewhere, and my mate Hayden drives a, a nice little Mazda 3, which is a nice little car, and it's, it smells new. Yeah. So I think it's in his car, he's like, man, your car smells good as fuck, you know? Okay. And Hayden's like, well, it just kind of smells like a car. He's like, nah, nah, beats the shit out of mine. Mine, always, mine just smells like cum all the time. <laughs> and this is after knowing him for like a few days. <laughs> because he takes so many girls back to his car and has sex with them. Don't this he gets like so much tit in- Oh, you're an idiot. Okay. <laughs> he gets so much tit in his car that his car constantly reeks of cum. Well, he obviously doesn't get much tit, he gets a lot of dick. Anyway, so he drives him, so he points out that his car smells good, and they drive to KFC to get some food. And then, um, Matt Laffin goes, Hey man, are you gonna use those KFC- Are you gonna use those wet wipes? And oh, he's like- no. Don't! Don't do it, Matt! And he's like, what do you want him? And he's like, yeah, nah, I use them to wipe up cum in my car. <laughs> is so this the same night? This is- I, This is probably the same day. This is the same ballpark. Fuck. Um, so he's got a glove box full of uh, KFC wet wipes where he <laughs> in case he comes on his seat. <laughs> Jesus fucking uh, Christ. And um, what bit wait, there's more. Oh no. Um, every time, it's fantastic, every time he brings a girl home from whatever he's been up to that night. Yeah. Uh, the next morning he'll send a Snapchat video to all his mates of her. So he'll be like, G'day guys, how's it going? Just uh, thought I'd update you on this tart. And he would just film some girl and be like, No, fuck off! You can't... It's so okay. So it's always, anyway. it's always girls like wearing his shirts and like trying to eat breakfast and he's like filming them. That's a... That, okay, no, that's, that's, that's great. I appreciate <laughs> he's that. He's such a cunt. Hey, <laughs> if they didn't want to be filmed by a random fucking guy, they shouldn't have slept with a random guy. <laughs> oh, Nathan, you, you're gender... Whatever. Gender what? Gender politics. Fuck around. that, man. Hey, look. This, this is like this is like their problem, like that you as soon as you put as soon as you let a meat sausage come <laughs> inside you, like that meat sausage is your problem and you gotta deal with it, and it's it's gonna do weird shit. Oh, there's a, a thing. There's a wall anus skill left. Oh, these fucking weird ass Viking guys. Should I punch it? Yeah, I hit it again. Ah, there'll be more. No, that won't be. Oh my Hold god! It. You called it. Get it. Cause... See you later, mate. I'm out. Oh! I died! <laughs> okay, yeah, look. Yeah, Alright, yeah. no, I've been practicing this. I've been practicing my solo act. Fucking, um... Actually, you know what? I haven't really been practicing. Oh, wow. He, he's actually, like, fully fucking gone. I think he might be taking a shit, honestly. Um... I guess I'll take this time to update you guys on my fucking holiday. Cause I went, on, I went to shitty Queensland. Nobody knows what Queensland is like. It's like the hot version of every other state in Australia. Maybe... Maybe anywhere up the top is hot. But I don't know enough about my home country to like, be able to say that with confidence. So Queensland, it's fucking winter. Queensland is um... Fucking like... Up to 30 degrees Celsius. Which is a lot. It's pretty... That's pretty hot. Oh. It's pretty hot. Even for Australia during winter. Considering Melbourne is like 10 degrees. 10 degrees Celsius during winter. Sometimes even fucking... It might, might even be lower sometimes. 
And then it gets up to like 30 as well, because Melbourne is fucking insane. Uh, the Queensland, my god. I don't want to live there in summer. That's a, that's like, that's, that's a scary thought. I don't want to be part of that world. Okay, Jim's back now. I can stop being a, I can stop doing this. Did you take a shit, Jim? Um, a little one. Alright. <clears throat> Just to squeeze the one out. Alright, now where were we? Just lost at the end of the toothpaste. Oh, little poo. Oh. Um, yeah, fucking, I, oh god. I really should have planned what I was going to say when I got back, huh, man? You had a whole shit to think about it. <laughs> fucking a hell. A whole shit. Um, get my fucking phone. I took pictures. No. Of my, um... Oh, of your holiday? Yeah. I'm not going through holiday snaps with you. I'd actually rather cut my own dick off and try and eat it. Nah, do it, man. It'd be... I'd, I'd choke to death. I, that amount of mass in my throat. What, your dick is that big? Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounded like a fucking ten-year-old kid. Saying his dick was huge. Yeah. yeah. I'd die. If I tried to eat my own dick, I'd die. Yeah, it's huge. Fuck. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's huge. Um, Are we done? No. It's something that's been going for fucking ages, dude. Yeah, You're right. Failing. Fucking next time. God damn. Next time we next look time. at my holiday pictures. We're not. I'm never Whether gonna... Jim likes it or not. Uh, I'm never gonna look at your holiday pictures. Ever. I will. Ever. I, I did. I saw that. I took them. Also, I said it's... Ooh. That... Remember last night when I was like, what, did I, what happened? I came into vent. What did happen? And I knocked my microphone by accident. Oh, and then I went, Ugh, and started burping really loudly. That was really stressful. That was hard. Really? Yeah. Okay, well next time, Jim can talk more about his troubles. Working for the man. Um, girls. Um, girls. The strawberry milk scoop, you can't have too much because you get sick. Um, money. Um, also money.